Hello my lovelies! Today is the first of our holiday hairstyles. Um, this one could just be a winter. It's not necessarily Christmas. And you may notice by my colors today, perhaps it's Hanukkah. Um, <laughs> uh, the traditional blue and silver. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, we need a few things. This is going to take a few steps, but it's really pretty when it's done, I promise. Um, you are going to need, uh, especially if you have this length, like I have, um, you need some spin pins today. Spin pins. Yeah. Spin pins. Okay. Um, I'm going to, you probably use two kinds of bobbies, uh, regular size, and then of course the big ones, the curler pins or roller pins, the big ones. Um, and I have a few things to add. Uh, I have these snowflakes. Aww. It's very Elsa. Um, I got these at Joanne Fabrics. Um, I did trim off the ends. Did I throw them away already? Yes. Um, they were probably about this long, so I made them half as long. Um, just with a pair of wire cutters, so we have three snowflakes. And yes, you know I'm going to use them all. And uh, for additional, because I can't stop myself, um, I have some pearl floral pins. Now, you have to be careful when you use floral pins because these are stabby. So, um, I usually only tend to use them in sock bun type things, but I think we're going to have enough on the back that we can use them. I think. Hey, Hoodles, let's get started. Okay, the very first thing we're going to do before we mess with any of the rest of it is from underneath. Uh, let's say... Well, maybe we should separate a little further up like this. So the under quarter, yeah, okay. This, we're going to braid. Um, should we do one or two? Let's do two little braids instead of the typical just one. So I'm going to take this. Separate it into two and make two English braids. Um, this is going to be our accent braids, and I just thought it would be pretty. So, accent braids are always nice. So I'm going to go ahead and braid these, tie them off with clear elastics, and then I'll be right back with you for the next step, which will come right after this step. Okay, back in his bag. Alrighty, darling. So we should have two accent braids. If you don't want accent braids, you don't have to do accent braids. I think they add something. If you only want one big one, fine. If you would like four little ones, fine. It's up to you. We can customize our own creations. So next step. <clears throat> we need the hair right above our ears out. So everything go back. Luckily, mine are copper colored, so they'll be easy to find. But yeah, you just want to go um, right behind your ears, straight up. Separate this out, as you see. Mm -hmm. Other side as well. Behind the ear, straight up, separate out. Alright, so this part, we're going to keep out for now, which you know means that we're going to clip it up under our chin, because it's what we do. And if I find one of my clips, I find one, yay! Uh, yeah, you might notice my red has changed. I don't know, I want something different. So, any hoodles, uh, now we are going to make a pretzel bun. Um, the lovely JJJ taught me this so long ago, it's not even funny. Um, but this is a wonderful bun to eat up excess length, which is what we need. So I'm going to pull back. I don't know what I'm doing with my bangs. I'll leave them out for now if I decide I want them in. I can always put them in later. That's why those little wispy bangs are wonderful. So, this should be all of my hair except for what's braided. Yes. Okay, pretzel bun. I'm going to wrap this up around our left hand like so. And then we're going to go roundy, roundy. I have one crazy hair stuck someplace. I don't know where it came from. I will figure that out in a minute. Okay, how much is that? That's how much I want to work with. So I'm going to pull this through. 
the loop here up top. Is this high up enough on my head? Sometimes it's not, so then what I usually end up doing is one of these numbers where I tighten it one turn. There we go. That's what I want up higher. And then I'm going to add my spin pins because they hold a pretzel bun beautifully. Where are we? There we go. So just screw that one in on that side. One would probably hold this, but um, I'm always, I would rather have two than one. <laughs> so extra, extra holding power is just always nice. So we'll screw that one in, which gives us a very high pretzel bun, but we're going to play with that in a minute, not just yet. Okay, let's undo these. Just I always feel like I have a weird beard. Um, sorry. Okay, next section, these. So what we're going to do is just take them up and over. I need to pin as I go. Just for the simple fact that, where am I tiny? Um, my hair is kind of slippery and they slide back if I don't. So... I'm going to pin both of these over my head as our accent braids behind these sides that we kept out. This going, this is crazy and it looks crazy now, but these are our steps to build a really cool hairstyle. So thus far we should have these left out in the front, a couple of accent braids pinned around our head, a pretzel bun twisted way up. And I know what you're saying. Ooh, what is going on back there? You're not going to see it. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Next step is these. So what we're going to do with these is go back over the braids on the sides. Ding, ding, ding. Bring them straight back. Move this little thing. Make sure that's going to stay. Yep. Okay. And then we're just going to go roundy roundies. Our little dealy up top. And then we'll pin it in place. And do the exact same thing on the other side. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am so sorry. But the part... I thought I was recording and apparently I hit stop record instead of hitting record. And then I recorded this, which I meant to stop record regardless. What you do with the rest of it is we're taking the rest of the hair, rolling it around our fingers, and then kind of just swirling it up and arranging it on our head in whichever fashion we choose. I was going for more of a 60s type deal. Um, and I explained this to you, but for some reason, I left that part out. <laughs> so I'm explaining it to you now, but don't worry. Um, it was a little wonkous when I started it, and then I fixed it here, and then I'm going to come back and show you exactly what I was doing. But just so you know, I did not deliberately leave a part out. Um, I, I'm telling you, I can't brain it all lately. It is tragical. <laughs> so as I was pinning, my pattern wasn't looking the way I wanted it to, so I just wanted to show you how I kind of switched these up a little bit. I did, um, of course, start by rolling the ends, and then I popped my fingers out, and then I just rolled them up this way, um, because that's the way I wanted them to go, and they weren't doing that, but now they are, um, <laughs> and then, um, yeah, I, uh, I have to say this is the first hairstyle I've done where I've really noticed, uh, my hair thinning as much as it has. I knew it was a bit, but yeah, wow. Um, any hoodles, so once we get this pinned here, I'll show you how it looks in the back. Um, I had it all sort of swoop this way. Um, I've seen a lot of hairstyles recently from the 60s, which were kind of like the big bouffants and all these little swirls, and I kind of wanted to do one like that, a little more modern, I guess. It's a little cartoony, but I really just kind of 
dig it like look at how cool that looks from the side right it totally does you guys I don't care what you say so <laughs> so here we are with our uh, oh that side didn't want to stay down one more pen sometimes that happens Sometimes my little loopies don't want to cooperate. Okay, so now we add all our fanciness. So the first thing I'm going to add are my awesome, awesome, gently, gently, my snowflakes that I wanted because this is for Christmas. I need my mirror so I can see where my loops are. There we go. The end. And what happened to the... There it is. So what happened to the turquoise one? And then we're going to put... Should we put them all three on one side? Yeah, maybe let's do that. Um, why not? Maybe. I have a lot of pins right there, or braids, or some such going on. There we go. Yes, you think? All, all on one side? Yeah, why not? Now it looks good. There we go. It's pretty, yes? Mm -hmm. Now, I initially was going to put some pins in these braids, the um, pearl pins. Let me see first how they look. Um, a lot of the times I work out like the mechanics of a style, but I don't always work out all the decoration. Um, now, if you are going to use these, you have to be really careful because they are sharp, but I kind of just wanted to poke them in as such. Just don't jab yourself in the head, basically. Be careful. <laughs> I just kind of want to put them in parallel, like so. Um, you could take a pair of wire cutters and cut them off blunt, I'm sure. Make them smaller. I'm just leaving mine jabby because I trust myself to not poke myself in the head, or if I do, to not cry. Um, I'm tough. There we go! Isn't it pretty? I know it's a little different. It's definitely not for everybody. But, I mean, maybe it'll help give you an idea. Um, I really need to do some of them bangs, though. So it looks fully appropriate. I wanted to do something a little bit different than we always do. Uh, give me a sec to remedy this situation. There we go. Nice poofy bangs to go with this. I think that looks right. Okay, so uh, that was today's Christmas stuff holiday style, winter style, Hanukkah style, I don't know, um, maybe if Elsa was transported to the 60s, she'd do something like this, I don't know, but, um, I really love those snowflakes, <laughs> and I was trying, they're big though, and I was trying to figure out a hairstyle that would really go with these snowflakes, and it's kind of big as the and kitschy as they were, so I wanted to do something sort of 60s. Um, you know, really big hair that is quaffed into shapes, but you will notice, with the exception of my bangs, I didn't use any hairspray or hair wax or any of that stuff. Um, you don't have to. <laughs> Alrighty, my lovelies, there is our 60s winter hair. Our very first hairstyle this month, aren't you excited? Alrighty, um, yeah, that's all for me today. If you're only here for hair, I will see you next week. If you are here every day with me, uh, Monday through Friday, I will see you tomorrow. We're going to talk about casual vacancy. Woot. Okay, um, I love you guys, and have a great day. Bye.